example um, I'm gonna try to solve a question on electrochemistry um, this is a follow-up to our first video I'm going to be solving um, a complete um, question up to the EMF calculation and um, as you can see on your screen um, I've already copied the standard reduction potential table from our data booklet I believe it's our page 11 uh, on our SQA data booklet um, and you could see that I've uh, pasted it at the next, uh, next to the question. Uh, obviously, an exam data booklet is provided. You do not have to memorize the values as see on the table, but you do have to know how to use the table. So that's it, that's a must. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain the question and um, um, and as well as the usage of the table, which is crucial. You do need to understand um, and how it is done. Now, if you remember the if you remember the previous video that we looked at two formula so I'm gonna show you the usage of both it try not to get confused um, you could stick to just one um, it might take a while for you to realize that it is um, uh, it's the same thing um, it's, it's great if you can realize it earlier but if you can't it's okay like I said uh, you may want to just stick to um, a specific type um, of the formula okay so now let's begin. Um, you have a cell in front of you, and as you could see, the cell here is showing us um, that it's made up of lead. It's made up of uh, magnesium as electrodes, and they are immersed in the electrolytes matching the electrodes. Okay, so you're supposed to obtain the ion-electron equation for the electrode reactions. Before we can go and look at what's happening, it's crucial for you to decide which is the oxidation cell and which is the reduction cell. Now, as usual, the, the formula that helps us a lot in this case, I always write this one down before I usually start. So, oil rig. Okay, maybe I should pick a darker color. Um, perhaps red. Okay, so oil rig. So, as you would remember, oxidation is loss and reduction is gain of electron and you know that this would be the anode and that would be the cathode the right and left is um, not needed here that's only for the um, cell convention which we, we don't need for this there's no um, requirement of this question asking us to write cell convention okay now um, let's look at um, what we have here we have lead that's paired up against magnesium. So how do I now decide? Back to this table. This table is going to help us decide which is going to be um, which cell will be oxidized and which cell will be reduced. Now, please remember you can refer to the title of the table, which I did not snapshot here. It is the standard reduction potential. So what you're looking at is all the half equation that's given here, a reduction half equation. You could see all the electrons being accepted um, to form. So you can see that on the left side, on the reactant side, you see ion uh, accepting electron to form the product here. In some cases, the products are ion it, um, as well. In most cases, they are not. So that's very important to realize. And then you look at the value. So this is the electro potential value. It's given in volts. And as you could see that it has a value, uh, negative value. Now I've mentioned in the previous video, if it's a negative value, then this reaction is most likely to be reversed. Now the reverse of a reduction equation is oxidation. So you read it, you read these as the um, um, reactant and this as the product. Now remember that's only if this is done as a relative comparison, which means this is negative compared to something else on the table. Okay, so that's very, very important to realize and to remember. So now we have lead here and that's important to realize that this is lead and that's lead ion. So I will have to pick the half equation that has both. 
Now, why am I stressing on that? Very simple, because not for every example, there are some example where the um, uh, it's available in more than one ion. For example, you can see that here's Fe3+, and this is Fe2+. And if you locate, you'll be able to find another half equation that has Fe2+, and Fe. So the half equations that you're gonna pick should match your electron and your electrolyte. Okay, now this is Pb, Pb2+, so um, lead to lead 2+, plus, and there you go, this is the value. I'm gonna circle that for you, and I'm gonna circle the half equation as well for you. Okay, so that's done. Um, now we're gonna look at that's pad again, uh, magnesium and magnesium two plus. So where is magnesium? There you go, magnesium is here and magnesium solid is here. I'm gonna just circle that so that you could see that's the half equation and this is the value. Now you can see the value here is much more negative than the value of lead here. Negative 2.37 and this is obviously negative 0.13. That means the half equation above here, when it's paired with lead, it is more likely to be reversed. And here it's more likely to uh, be progressing in the way that is written. In another word, you can see that here, electron will be lost by magnesium to the half cell of the lead. Because magnesium here is more likely to be reversed, which means it's more likely to be undergoing oxidation. So remember, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain, and that's A, and this is C. So this is going to be the anode. And this obviously is the cathode. Okay, so now it says obtain the ion electron equation for the electrode reaction, which means we do have to write the um, half equations for both. Um, then obviously the subsequent question usually is the overall reaction. So let's write for the anode first. Okay, so what are the anode? Um, half equation so you can see that since uh, magnesium is going to lose electron um, always refer to the half equation given if you're not sure please don't make a mistake in writing the equation so magnesium solid is gonna go and release electron you do not have to use a reversible sign here because in this um, cell it will not be reversible so magnesium will be losing electrons to form mg2 plus to form two electrons Okay, so um, it's and if you accidentally use uh, the double equation sign um, because you copied it exactly as it is from the standard reduction table, it is okay, it is not wrong, though it is not necessary as it's not accurate to represent it as reversible in this cell. Okay, that's your not. Um, make sure you have your states, that's really important. All right, then at the cathode. The half equation of the cathode, obviously, since oxidation cathode is the reduction, the lead ion Pb2 plus is going to be receiving two electrons to become lead. So that's solid. And this is obviously aqueous. Okay, so what's going to happen is essentially the electron is going to be moving out here through this external circuit into this. And the lead in the um, electrolyte here is going to receive electron and deposit and this electrode is going to obviously become thicker and here your magnesium electrode would eventually corrode okay now remember the function of salt bridge again maintains the neutrality of the cell now this is the right equation for the overall cell reaction very easy we combine these two equations just make sure the number of electrons are the same and we cancel it off. So in this case, we do not have to multiply any of the half equation because they are both made out of two electrons. So we can cancel off the electrons as one is on the product side and the other one is on the reactant side and it becomes magnesium solid plus lead two plus aqueous and that's gonna give us magnesium ions aqueous plus lead solid oh dear i ignore that it's lead solid okay so that's done now comes the emf calculation this is important because we're going to use the value so back to the formula that um, was used in the previous uh, video i've showed you two um, formulas in the video so i'm going to use the one that has e cell E naught or the elect 
um, the electrode potential of the entire cell or the AMF of the cell is equivalent to the E not of the oxidant oxidant yeah not oxidizing agent uh, sorry not oxidant is oxidizing agent not the half cell that undergoes oxidation so you have to be clear about that minus the E not of the reductant all right so I, I like to write the full term because if I just put RED students tend to think that is the um, species that is being reduced so just to be clear an oxidant is basically the site that is undergoing reduction because it causes oxidation to somebody else and it itself becomes oxid um, becomes reduced now it's, it's it's the same way of thinking of a, a killing agent a killing agent goes and kills somebody else they don't kill themselves all right so if you're an oxidant or an oxidizing agent you cause the oxidation of somebody else and since oxidation is loss of electron and that means you're going to be stealing the electron practically from that so here obviously the oxidant or the oxidizing agent is the lead because it's pulling the electron from the mag magnesium so the oxidant is the lead and the reductant obviously the magnesium reductant is the species that causes reduction in simple term it is also the species that's undergoing oxidation itself okay so if you are using this formula then you do have to take note okay oxidant what's what's the oxidant in this case that's lead and lead has a value of negative 13 so negative 13 0 0.13 minus What's the value of magnesium and the magnesium's value is negative 2.37 okay so that comes to a total of oh it's my calculator that comes to a total value of 2.24 volts okay so that will be the overall emf and when emf is positive that means the reaction is likely to happen if the emf is a negative value then this cell is most likely uh, it, it would not work negative e naught value means the cell is not possible which means the transfer of electron will not take place okay so just a quick recap oxygen is the cell that undergoes reduction reductant is the cell that undergoes oxidation once you have identified that you take the value and you use them as it is now if you use the other formula the other formula is um, is slightly different um, i will solve another question using the other formula and then we will be able to uh, compare the two um, i do not encourage you to uh, use both just get used to one so that you know um, how to solve it um, accurately every time um, uh, you know what I'll just do it in this video okay the other formula if you, if you still remember from my previous video the other formula is oxidation potential now take note it uses a different term oxidation potential plus reduction potential now I'll show you the difference between this um, two formula reduction um, potential now if you notice it says oxidation potential here we use the word oxidant and if you realize this is a minus whereas this is a plus now if i were to solve both and if assuming i'm doing correctly it should give me the exact same answer now let's see what is an oxidation potential now the oxidation potential is the cell that is undergoing oxidation so in this case the cell that's undergoing oxidation is obviously the magnesium but if i follow the magnesium value it has a negative value here because the equation that's given to us is a reduction equation so i do have to change the sign so it becomes positive 237 2.37 now take note i had to change the the value to the opposite side why did i change the value because we are taking this reading from a reduction table this equation that's given to you is a reduction equation but what's happening in your cell is that magnesium is undergoing oxidation we can see it here i'm circling it for you all right so i as a result i changed the value plus the reduction potential so who's undergoing reduction lead is undergoing reduction is gaining electron there you go i'm highlighting that for you 
and look at the value and the equation is a reduction equation so we do not have to change the sign well we'll put it as negative 0 0.13 so positive 2.37 plus negative 0 0.13 would end up giving us positive 2.24 volts it's okay if you don't show the positive sign like here i did not show it i can put it down but it's okay if you don't show it in the exam negative sign has to be reflected there you go that's the difference between the two formula i would suggest please take one stick to it and practice it you have to be very very clear on the cell that is undergoing oxidation and the cell that is undergoing reduction so quick recap how do i decide which side is the oxidation when you look at the reduction table the species that is much higher up will automatically undergo oxidation it will lose electron to those beneath it all right and there's two formulas to use for the calculation of emf the one that's oxidant minus reductant or in another word oxidizing agent minus reducing agent if you're using this formula then you do not have to worry about reversing the sign we just plug the formula as it is because you're using reducing agent and oxidizing agent but you do have to understand clearly that reducing agent undergoes oxidation oxidizing agent undergoes reduction that's the reason this is lead and this is magnesium on this side here oxidation potential i'm going to change color oxidation potential means referring to the half cell that's undergoing oxidation and that's magnesium and this side reduction potential referring to the half cell that's undergoing reduction and in that case that's the lead so the reading is taken as it is so assuming you use both correctly it should give you the same value so there is no requirement which um, um, formula that you have to use so you pick one and get used to it and stick to that formula all right okay so i'm going to sign off good luck make sure you try the checkpoints thank you